it is so exciting when there are new features, especially when those features are in Google Forms. I love Google Forms. Google Forms is like the greatest thing since sliced bread. And so recently, this new feature came out in Google Forms that will auto-save progress. We have needed this forever. We have a student taking an assessment and the bell rings and they don't have time to finish. So what do they do? They'd have to submit and then trying to get back in there or retake it, it's always a hassle. So this new feature in Google Forms allows for auto-saving the progress. But here's the thing, it doesn't give you, the teacher, the information. So let's say a student is filling out a Google Form. <laughs> Sorry for all the wind. Uh, let's say a student is filling out a Google Form, they're doing their assessment, they run out of time, they need to finish it later. So they filled in their name, they've answered the first question, they've answered the second question. It is auto-saving, just like when you're in a Google Doc or a Google Slides and you're typing in there, there's no save button, it's just saved. And when you come back to your Google Doc, you come back to your Google Slides, there's all your work that you've done. Well, now it's the same with Google Forms when you're filling out the form. That was always true while you were editing the form. But what if you're filling it out? So I'm taking my assessment, I put in my name, I've answered a few questions, and I'm like, I need more time, I can't finish this right now. And so it closed the tab, or for whatever reason the internet goes out, or something happens where I'm not able to push the submit button. Now this is saved to the student's account. It is not submitted to the, the form owner. So let's say I start filling out the form for the teacher. I'm putting in my name and my answers. The teacher has no idea I've even started it. That doesn't get relayed back to the form owner until submit is hit. So you're gonna wanna have the students not hit submit, they just close it and say, hey, you know what, come back tomorrow, we'll open up the form again, and those answers are gonna be in there. So let's see how that works with the autosave. So you see I have this Google form, I'm gonna click the eyeball here to come into preview mode, and you see that it remembers my answers I had already put in there before. So ss400 at fresnoteach.org, I'm gonna put that email in, but up here, this is not the email that's being recorded. This is the email that the teacher will see once I hit submit. This up here is where it is being saved, more specifically into the Chrome browser that I am logged into. It's saved into there. It's not necessarily specific to this computer, but to this account. It's saving it to this account. So notice I have put in my email, I've answered a question, and then I'm just gonna close the form. What, you closed the form, you lost all those responses, but when I click the eyeball, notice that it's still filled out. It still has all of my answers in there because it is previewing the same. Now I can go ahead and hit submit, and now it submitted it, and now the teacher has all of the information, but only once submit is done. So when we do